Hey everybody. What we're going to try to walk through today is the chatbot functionality from an end to end kind of day in the life and category management perspective. So using the API integrations, it's it's integrated kind of right now with uh, three core pieces that we'll show in this video. One being um, Jira workflow management software. If you're not familiar with Jira, what it is, it's kind of this project management scrum kind of workflow management tool. So what the chatbot does is it communicates with the Jira APIs to kind of tell you what's upcoming. You can ask it, what do I have to do this week? Um, what do I have to do today? It understands the difference in time frames. It'll also give you a link out to your Jira site that you can click on and view the details of the task that's been assigned to you. Here specifically, we've been assigned to uh, version some coffee maker planograms. Uh, that will help. What we'll do here now is dive into the next phase, which is the basic functionality of category management supply chain JDA software, where we can ask the chatbot to help us with that versioning activity. So we're going to ask it to version the coffee maker planograms for us. It's going to ask us some follow-up questions like what status are the planograms in. It's going to walk us through this uh, confirmation activity saying we've got four planograms alive. Do you want to version those? And when you say yes, it will go ahead and version those planograms for you. Once those planograms are versioned, we're going to go in and we'll take a look at them. Uh, we're actually going to merchandise some products on these planograms to simulate the day-to-day -day activity that you would do if you were in a merchandising role, uh, positioning products on planograms, merchandising them, you know, essentially new item cut-ins. So we've got our product library pre-filtered on five new items we want to focus in on for this coffee maker category. We're going to take five items and add them to three planograms. I'm going to reduce some facings here and then bring the products on to the, to the planogram and merchandise them on that uh, second shelf. And now on our 12 foot, I'll make sure and kind of show a difference in distribution and what that looks like from the, the chatbot analytics perspective. I'll merchandise three items on this planogram. And then the next planogram here, the, the larger set, I'm going to put all five back um, after we pretty it up a little bit here. So I'll reduce some facings on the 24-foot planogram and then merchandise the full five. Once we save these to the database now, what's going to happen is, uh, since these are work-in-progress planograms and that's where we version them to, what this gives us is visibility to an item forecast. So we've got some new items on these planograms now, and our chatbot has this analytical analytics capability uh, to look at those planograms in work in progress and kind of tell us from an overall perspective, you know, I say, hey, can you analyze our coffee maker category? And what it'll do is give us kind of this overview of, you know, you've got uh, X amount of planograms in live, but you now also have X amount of planograms in work in progress. And there's a total of five unique items, five unique new items on there going to impact X amount of new stores. So it gives us that visibility on the... Um, on the analytical front, and then if you want to dive into individual UPCs, you can ask it for specifics on an actual item. So uh, we'll go back into our planogram here and get one of the UPCs off the new items we dragged on. I'm going to try and find one that's um, that we didn't position on all the planograms. I think we positioned this one on uh, th three of the four here. So we'll get this UPC and we'll ask the chatbot for some specific information about uh, the UPC. And what the chatbot will do is, again, give us some analytics from inside the database and provide us back a summary of what's going on with that item, how many live stores it's in, how many work-in-progress stores it's in, the net change in distribution, and things of that nature. What's important to show, uh, you know, the, the look ahead between live and work-in-progress and the, and the kind of visibility that it's giving you, but also, you know, if you do assign a, a go-live date, it will add that into the summary function so for example if I set these live to 515 you'd get that as a, a chatbot response as well we're just going to check here a couple more UPCs to demonstrate the um, the full breadth of the, the functionality you know a couple different scenarios where one product's assigned to all the stores um, but it's a pure new item one product's assigned to some of the stores uh, so just trying to sh demonstrate here a couple of different, um, what that looks like from a couple of different uh, scenario perspectives. Uh, we'll now grab an item that's been on the planogram all along, but we did not 
cut it in as a new item, just kind of this item that was on the live. And what this what the chatbot's going to tell you is that it's on X amount of live stores. It's also going to X amount of live stores in work in progress because there's no change to it, and that represents kind of a zero, a net zero addition from a distribution. And lastly, what we'll do is we'll ask the chatbot to analyze the category one more time because what I want to show you now is the inclusion of the Power BI integration. So the chatbot will go out and um, analyze the category one more time for us. And what it provides us down at the bottom here is a link to our Power BI dashboard. And when you click on that link, what it'll do is take you out to your Power BI. And there's a, a, a ton of information that you can now get as the Power BI integration that takes place. Uh, more information about the planning games if you want, you know, some sales information, anything you can think of that integrates with Power BI. And, and I hope you enjoyed the video.